what's up guys welcome back to my channel happy happy monday you guys i hope you guys are having a great day so far it is a new week time for you to get back focused on all of your goals i hope you guys are starting your days with positive intentions i promise you that if you start your day with positive intentions and you start your day with positive energy you make room for your day to invite more positivity into your life um my weekend was pretty good you guys pretty pretty good so if you guys follow me on instagram you guys saw that i was yet surprised with another little um something from tyrone so two weeks ago we went to go see kevin hart and that was like an amazing show really really amazing everyone did their thing um this past Friday night, I had no idea where I was going. He told me about this a couple of weeks before he told me about Kevin Hart. And he told me he didn't want to let me know where it was, but it was not a nice surprise. So, as you guys know, we went we went to go see Kevin Hart. And we were like three seats. No, three rows from the stage. We were center stage, three rows back. Um, and that was amazing to see. I've never been that close to anyone anyone whether it was a concert show whatever so this friday um we got dressed we went out and we ended up in atlantic city again this time we went to tropicana which is i mean all the hotels and casinos out there are really really big but that's one of the really if i'm not mistaken one of the top hotel and casinos out there i mean it it was like live like there were tons of restaurants. There's a nightclub in there. Um, there's a ballroom, the conference room. It, it's just huge, huge, okay? So we got there and he still hadn't told me who were, we were there to see. So anyway, I was just enjoying the scenery because as long as I, I've lived in Connecticut and been to Atlanta City, I've never been to Tropicana, but I've heard about it and I've heard nothing but good things about it. I heard it's really live nightlife is great clubs are great you know so you know I, I just I was excited to go and I'm like oh my god we're at Tropicana so we get to the conference the, the ballroom or the conference room or whatever the arena where this show is at and I still don't know who we're there to see um but we went and we were looking for our seats and um you know, we asked the usher, you know, can you help us find the seat? And he looked at Tyrone and he was like, oh, those are good seats. We ended up in the very front row, you guys. Front row center stage at this show. At this point, I still don't know who we're there to see. So I'm just enjoying the scenery, you know, people watching, listening to the music, singing along, which is great. So after a while, they started the show about probably half hour late. But that was fine um, because when the lights went down and they came on the mic and they said who we were there to see, I was just like, oh my gosh, it was Mike Epps. When I tell you, now this time around, they did not take our phones, so I was able to get very good pictures of Mike Epps. Um, he had two com comedians before him open the show for him. Um, they were both really good, but there was a second one named, I forgot, uh, Smokey Suarez. This dude was hilarious, okay? Hilarious. If you don't know who he is, go find him on Instagram, Smokey Suarez. He is a comedian. He's out of Harlem. He was funny. Um, and then when Mike Epps came out, it was just funny the whole entire way. And then towards the end of the show, like he was really getting on people. Now, one thing that was pissing me off, I was so close to being my old self because there were people talking behind the second row behind us and they were so loud. And towards the end of the show, Mike Epps actually started uh, smoking them, you know, and we were cracking up because in my head, I'm like, he noticed that they were talking the whole entire time throughout his set. And um, I mean, it was just hilarious and that made my night so um it was a really really good show man i had a really 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 good time so that was nice um let's see 
Other than that, we kind of ran errands on Saturday. It was supposed to be a beach day with me and my family yesterday, but that didn't happen. There were other plans. But then we had forgotten that Tyrone had a really nice award ceremony to go to. Um, and if you guys saw it on Instagram, um, both of our pages, you saw that he got awarded um, for, um, he was nominated for an award for uh, the Black Family Magazine. Um, this magazine is doing amazing, amazing things. He is very personal friends with, um, you know, the, 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 the people who are running it um, and the person who is behind it. She's an amazing woman. She's an author. She's a counselor. She's everything under the sun. Like, she's just an amazing person. And it was so nice to see them and, and, and finally meet him. These are really good, really good people, really good friends of Tyrone's. And um, she's doing amazing things with this magazine. It's not a regular magazine. Um, but this magazine, if you guys don't know, um, you're probably going to hear a lot about it because this is probably a magazine that's really going to blow up. It's called the Black Family Magazine. And basically, this magazine is to, um, you know, basically break generational curses. They are here to help families heal. Um, they are really spiritually led. Um, you know, a lot of these are, you know, people, I mean, they've got tons of people, people's hands in this magazine, like a lot of testimonials. Um, they're going on tour. You know, this is it is a magazine really for you know you you've got if you think about it you've got if you remember jet magazine ebony even essence um a lot of those are led by celebrities and things like that the black family magazine is really about that black families and you know really getting down to the nitty-gritty of where you come from and you know what's been going on a lot of healing that needs to be done um it's something to bring awareness to bring healing it's such an amazing project it really really is so i hope you guys go and and keep a lookout for it i do believe that their um official website will be up by next week um but you guys should definitely support when that page does come out. Keep yourselves informed. It is such an amazing thing. And it was such amazing to see so many people being awarded, especially Tyrone, um, you know, in many, many different ways. And these people are really making a difference in their communities. And I was really proud of him. And I was proud for all the people there, too. And I'm definitely proud of, you know, his friend and, and, and um, his wife who was behind this magazine. So that was amazing to see that was really really nice last night so here we are again it is monday it is back to the grind you guys so i just want to encourage you guys um you know i've been talking a lot about releasing i've been talking to you guys a lot about letting go and things like that and you know it's really important to you know just keep yourselves accountable for how you feel what you do the decisions that you make because ultimately like i said in my last video my motivational video you know you are where you are because of decisions that you've made you are where you are because of you um and you are responsible for you know which direction you go and you know i i just want you guys to really keep in mind and a couple of things, you know, that I heard last night at the ceremony really, really resonated with me as well. Um, you know, when you go through trials and tribulations in life, and when you go through things in life, a lot of us, you know, we may go through things out of curiosity. We may go through things out of, you know, people telling us that it's the right thing to do or being rebels and going against what people are telling us not to do. Um, sometimes we grow up seeing certain things and thinking that they are okay and then we begin to manifest and start doing those things as an adult um, and then we kind of you know put ourselves in a position of why me um, but that's why I feel like it is so important for you to really take accountability for what you are doing um, the decisions that you are making the energy that you are bringing and taking in, the people who are you who you are surrounding yourselves with, um, you know, and this isn't 
only, you know, people like me or, you know, you, this is everyone, white, black, brown, Asian, whoever. We all grew up differently. We all grew up in a different environment. We all grew up with different beliefs and views, different things that we've seen. Um, and if you know in the back of your head as an adult that these things were wrong, it is your responsibility to break that. It is your responsibility to take it upon yourself to say, you know what, that's not right and that's not what I want for my life. That is not where I want my life to end. I don't want to lead my life into the same thing that I saw that I know is wrong. So I just want you guys to just kind of keep yourselves open-minded to everything around you. Now, I know sometimes it's easier said than done because we've got so much going on, you know, you know, you're stressed out, it's work, you got kids, you got family, you got partners, significant others, wives, husbands, boyfriend, girlfriends, whatever the case may be. But that's why it is so important for you guys to let go of baggage that you are holding on to that doesn't serve you any more purpose. So you can allow yourself the vision to see what is right and wrong and what you need to take out and put in in order for you to evolve and to get to where you want to be in life. All right. So keep that in mind, you guys. That's just the motivation for your Monday for the rest of your week and take it with you for the weeks and months and years to come. All right. If you enjoyed this video, please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys are up to. Let me know how your weekend was. Um, yeah. And keep me posted, you guys. Also, also, I am going to be starting a watch with me. OK, it is a new I have I'm going to be I don't have patreon I don't have an extra channel so this is all going to be under this one channel um, but I'm going to start doing watch with me if you guys came from Tyrone's channel then you guys know what that is obviously you guys know that we cannot sit here and watch something and let you watch it literally on there because of course it will get claimed but if you guys know that Tyrone does these on his um you know channel and patreon and things like that then you know that he does a watch with me and I want to start doing that too because there's a couple of shows that I do want to watch and it would be kind of cool to introduce that to my channel as well. So I'm going to be starting with Resident Evil. I don't know. I haven't watched any of Tyrone's stuff. I don't, you know, when it's something that I want to watch, I want to watch it on my own without looking for any feedback or any reviews or anything like that. I want to experience it for myself. I had a few mixed feelings about this Resident Evil series on Netflix. Um, but again, I'm willing to give it a shot just to see what it is. The trailer itself to me looked a lot better than the Raccoon City movie that came out. Um, it looked more modern. It didn't look dated or anything like that. But it's a series, so we have to see where this goes. From what I understand, there's a lot of people that don't like it. There's a lot of people that do like it. Why? I don't know. I don't want to know. I want to experience it for myself again. So I'm going to be starting with the first episode today. I um, hope you guys will join me. If you guys don't know how it goes, uh, watch with me will be you watching me and my reaction to this episode without seeing the actual footage on the video, but I will have a timer on there so you guys can press play. When I press play, we can watch it together and you can watch me react to it. And then I will give you guys my review on it afterwards. Um, so I'll be starting that today. Also, I will be starting to get back into my gaming you guys um obviously ops elden ring isn't going anywhere anywhere so who knows when i'm going to be done with that but if you guys are you know um i don't want to start another game while i'm in the middle of elden ring um this is like a never-ending game i don't know when i'm going to be done with it i do want to play other games but I would feel really crappy if I just stopped playing Elden Ring all together. I'm not getting bored with it. I just feel like it's taken forever. And I hope you guys are not getting bored either. So I'm going to try to get back to that today. If not today, maybe tomorrow. Um, the weekends are a little tough for me because I'm always running around. You know, unless I'm at home and I'm not doing absolutely anything, I will game on the weekends. But I try to do it during the week. So anyway, those are the things that are coming up for my channel. I have two new playlists. One of them is Crazy Stories. Um, where I will be just reacting to crazy stories that I come across and the other one will be the watch with me so you guys can um, enjoy that as well all right leave your comments down below let me know what's up with you guys if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel hit like share and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed I'll see you guys later Toodles.